Hello and welcome to the show that puts the heart and soul into Sundays, bringing faith and ethics to the discussions that matter most. Coming up today on Sunday Morning Live, this week it was revealed that just 60 of the richest people in the UK collectively contributed more than £3 billion a year in income tax. Lots more to come on today's show. Yeah, we are always being told to get really looking forward to seeing all of your pictures and your messages this morning. They were concerned about where Charlie was. They've got over that and the debate has continued on social media. <laughs> Jim's been in touch on X. He says, society, will that just mean further burdens on the most vulnerable in society? And someone called The Real Deal says, many of the super rich work super hard for their wealth. There's outrage when working classes are heavily taxed for their hard work. So why can't rich people be equally as outraged? Uh, thank you for all your comments on that this morning. We do have plenty more of the week's big stories to discuss on the show today. And details of organisation offering support with pregnancy and baby loss are available on the pregnancy related issues page at bbc.co.uk forward slash action line. Yeah and thank you to them for sharing their story with us. And now it is time for a quick round up of some of the headlines from the past few days. It's been another busy week. We've had the Tory leadership race narrowing down to just two. Uh, Hurricane Milton hitting Florida and the government introducing proposals for new rights for workers. Yeah joining us now to take a look at some of the stories that have flown under the radar this week are actor and campaigner some some remarkable images there too. Uh, now, the way we talk to children about the death of a loved one should be taught in schools. That's according to a study done by the University of Portsmouth. And author Carissa Coulthard is hoping her new book can help with this. I've... Thank you. Carissa, I, this, this is something I hadn't given much thought to, if I'm being completely honest. And when I heard about your book, I found it really quite emotional. <laughs> I find it quite difficult of something that I hadn't considered. And I suppose for you, when sadly your mum passed away, it's something you hadn't considered either. And it is, it's a conversation that, you know, we have to have. And thank you for, for writing it and helping parents out there as well. It is called The Fun We Had. It is available now. Carissa, thank, thank you. you. Support to say if you have been affected by any of the issues that we've been talking about here, details of organisations which offer support with bereavement are available at bbc.co.uk forward slash action line. Oh, it's great to have Esther back on the show again. Looking forward to that. Uh, before we go, we have time to hear from you at home. You've been sending in your nature photos. Beautiful photos. Thank you so much for all your comments and for all our guests on today's show. Yeah, let's uh, hear from Esther Durin now. 